Unang-una bago ang lahat ang aming pakikiramay sa pagkamatay ng iyong ama. Maraming salamat. Ang tagal mo nang nananahimik, ba't mo gusto magsalita ngayon? Limang taon akong nananahimik. And limang taon na continuous character assassinations against me and all of my children. Sasagot ako ngayon kasi medyo sobra na. Hindi medyo, sobra na. I feel like yung pananahimik ko, hindi naman sila tumahimik o napagod. So maybe siguro pag nagsalita na ako with the truth, baka naman, di ba? Kailangan, na kailangan na rin na malaman ng tao yung totoong naganap. Especially because the night we are talking about, it involves the President. Uh, laman kayo ng balita ngayon at social media, dumating ang Pangulong Duterte yes. sa burol ng iyong ama. Yes. At niyais niya kayong pagbatiin, pagkamayin yes. ng iyong ate na si Gretchen Barreto. Yes. Tumanggi ka. Ba't ka tumanggi? First of all, I would like to say I'm very grateful to the President. You know, for taking time out to grieve with the family. And I believe that it was his best intentions na pagbatiin lahat. Okay. Unfortunately, um, bago po ang dating ng presidente, nagpatawag po si Mr. Atong Ang. Si Atong Ang used to be the boyfriend of my, our niece, Nicole, the daughter of our brother, JJ. Five years, almost five years. Ito sa pagkakaalam ko, personal knowledge to. Okay, naghiwalay sila, allegedly, or alam namin na inagaw ni Gretchen kay Nicole si Atong Ang. Okay. Okay pa yun. Nagpatumawag po, nagkausap si Nicole at yung anak po ni Atong Ang. So she said kung pwede umalis na muna sila Nicole at yung mga kapatid niya dahil parating si Gretchen at si Atong. Bigla na lang siyang lumuha. Si Nicole. Nicole. Hindi pa ito natapos doon, no? Uh, kasi parang the injustice. Apo siya eh. She had more right in the wake. Tapos siyempre napapahiya siya sa amin lahat dahil very present naman si Atong sa lahat ng family gatherings namin in that almost five years as the boyfriend of Nicole. Okay? So alam namin, so parang napapahiya rin naman si Nicole na papasok sila magkasama. Parang, parang sampal na sa pagmumukha niya yun. It was not the place to do that. Mm -hmm. And then? And then, tumawag yung kapatid ni Atong Ang sa mother ni Nicole na si Marichina. Pinapasabi ni Atong, umalis na muna kayo, sila ng mga bata dahil magkakaroon ng gulo. So, merong ganon. They, it was an, it, everything was orchestrated, Karen. Ano nangyari muna? Hmm. So, ang nangyari, dumating ang Pangulo. He had his moments with my mom in prayer for my father. And then, with on cue ni Claudine, dumarating si Gretchen and Atong. But Atong stayed in the, the end and um, Gretchen was there, apologizing to my mother, crying and all of that. We were on the side. Um, they were claiming na mainit na ang ulo ko, hindi lang po ako, yung pamilya ko po, dahil na-offend kami really about Atong sending our nieces and nephews out of the wake of our father. Yun yun. That's mm -hmm. the tension. But yung sinasabi ni Gretchen that I'm not for reconciliation, Karen, mm -hmm. nakarata yung ama ko for 16 days in the hospital. 14 days sa ICU, 2 days in the regular room. Okay? Night shift si Claudine. Gabi-gabi doon natutulog si Claudine. May pang-taping siyang, pang-shooting siyang kama doon. Natutulog siya sa ICU. Claudine, ano nangyari sa'yo? Bakit hindi mo na-convince si Gretchen na bumisita sa daddy natin nung nabubuhay pa? I am all for reconciliation, Karen. Mm -hmm. I'm just not for the fanfare. Okay, ano nangyari if you're for reconciliation? Nandun na yung, kumbaga, the moment was there, no less than President yes. Duterte said, yes. um, makipagbati ka na sa ate mo, yes. ba't But ano ha, I have to, I have to make it clear, napaka humble and gentle ng presidente ha. It wasn't in an arrogant mm -hmm. way. It was, he was holding both my elbows, napakalambing, looking straight oh, so into bakit? my eyes. So Why did it, Because I could see her face. I could see the insincerity in Gretchen. I know her the most. De, an, paano nagsimula ang gulo? Oh, ah, okay. Hindi. Oh, Presidente, so I was saying, Mr. President, sabi ko, my exact words, ha? Um, I, I respect you. 
Mr. President. I was holding on to him. He was holding on to me. I respect you. I love you. I voted for you, sir. Pasensya na po. Hindi po kita mapagbibigyan. Claudine, nandito. Gretchen nandyan. Claudine, si Atong nasa likod. Claudine says, you're unbelievable. So, tumingin ako, bunsong kapatid. Diyan nag-start yung bastusan, actually. Mm -hmm. So, hindi ko alam what to take, uh, what to, to, to make out of that. Okay. Eh. And then, and then she followed with the, how dare you? You're just, you want the attention. Then I said, Mr. President, ito na po yung totoong, tignan niyo po ito, ito po yung totoong pagkatao nila. Nagbabait-baitan lang po sila sa harapan ninyo. I hope you understand. Pero nangyari lahat to sa harap ng Pangulo. Yeah, but you know, I'll tell you something. Ah. The President blended. Eh. Hindi siya yung parang, he wasn't acting like mm -hmm. he was superior to all of us. Uh, anong okay. Na, anong nangyari What happened? Nun? Paano mm. nagkagulo? Okay, I want to talk about this only because Gretchen made a statement in the news that I had a nervous breakdown. I did not have a nervous breakdown. Give or take 60 people were in the in the venue. I did not have a nervous breakdown. Nagsimula ang gulo, muna yung bastusan dahil kay Claudine. Ang gulo dahil si Atong umakmang abotin ako. Kasi masabi ko sa presidente, hindi ko pa magagawa lahat po ng anak ko, sinira niya yung buhay. Pangalan ko, sinira mga anak ko, mga kapatid ko, yung boyfriend po ng pamangkin namin, inagaw niya. Pero, you know, this is, you know, I had to say that. Andito nga, bakit ba siya nandito? Nagalit. So, aakma si Atong na. That's when the PSG cordon, because the president was holding me. Eh. Mm -hmm. So, pag safe si presidente, safe ako. Nagsalita si Atong Ang yes. and he denies na nagkaroon siya ng relasyon kay Nicole. And Gretchen and Tony Boy are my partners sa negosyo. Yeah. So are you saying he's lying? He, yes. Nagsisinungaling siya? Yes. Boy, naging boyfriend po siya ni Nicole. Huwag naman niyang babuyin yung bata. Nakuha na nga niya ng bata si Nicole noon eh. Kasi can you imagine how old is Nicole? 25? They had a five-year relationship. Well, she was not even, I think, 18. Mm -hmm. Nababoy na nga eh, di ba? Nasira na nga reputasyon ng bata. Tapos i-deny mo, naging sekretarya mo na lang. No, okay. That I have personal knowledge of. Okay. Yes. Now, in your IG post, ang sinabi yes. mo is natatakot ka for the safety of your children. And I'm quoting this. Ang sinabi mo ay, um, my children's life will be yes. put in danger. Yes. Referring to my sister's powerful boyfriend, and I don't mean Tony Boy, and this is a direct quote from your Instagram. Sino ang pinaparatangan mo na powerful boyfriend ng kapatid mo? Si Atong. Do you have proof? I have not been in good terms with Gretchen for almost five years this December. I have never seen them together mm -hmm. as boyfriend and girlfriend. I just take it from its common knowledge. Mm -hmm. Alam ng maraming tao, nakikita sila kung saan-saan, magkahawak and all. But, I know for a fact that it's them because we were with our niece every step of the way that she had to suffer the pain. Kasi hindi na enough yung inagaw eh. Araw-araw minental torture ni Gretchen yung pamangkin namin si Nicole. I will go back to the president, okay? I'm so sorry. I just want to make it clear that we ended very well with the president. Nung nagkaroon, wait, and also ha, when nung umakma si Atong to attack me, that's when nakordon off kami ng president, okay? And then, nakita ko sa kanan ko, Nicole carried Gretchen. This is, we have to, we have to tell this story. Eh. Carried Gretchen. Malaki si Nicole eh. Nilipat siya, nilayo sa akin. Because according to sila Nicole and the mga tao doon, she was also gonna follow to make me hablot. Okay? Yun lang yun. Yun lang kaguluhan nila doon. But, Of course, the PhD was saying, Mr. President, kailangan na siguro natin umalis kasi talagang mainit na. And he said, hindi, mag-uusap pa kami ni Marjorie. I have to tell this story, okay, na maayos kami yung nag-end. He safely took me away to a couch, to the farthest couch, habang si Gretchen ang nag-nervous breakdown. She ran after Nicole, pulled Nicole's hair, kicked Nicole, she beat up my niece. So I wasn't the one with the nervous bre breakdown. I was sitting quietly with the president on the left side of the chapel, exchanging pleasantries. Kasi ako nag naghumingi ako ng tawa de, Mr. President. Hindi ko po na realize na hindi an pukita. I mean, no disrespect and all. And dami kong ganon. Sabi lang sa akin ni Mr. President, stop apologizing. And then we spoke and okay. we ended well. Habang si Gretchen nakikipagbubugan don. So para klaro sa lahat. 
Okay, saan gumawa ng gulo? Hindi ako. Hindi. I respect my father. Moving forward is um, Gretchen answered in an IG post after your post um, naming former Kalaokan uh, City Mayor Echeverry in effect no, in two succeeding there was a second post but saying that he was your powerful boyfriend too. Mm -hmm. Now, let's set the record straight when it comes to this. Yes. May relasyon ka ba o nagkaroon ka ba ng relasyon kay dating Kalookan uh, Mayor Recom Echeverry? Um, Recom Echeverry is the father of my youngest daughter. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Now, pag pinanunood ka ngayon, sasabihin ng viewers, yes. bakit naman ganun? Yes. Pamilyadong tao yes. yun? Bakit yes. yun naman yes. ang yes. papatula ni Marjorie? Yes, yes, yes. Alam mo, hindi ako perfect ka rin. Um, I'm very strong in many ways, pero sa pag-ibig talaga mahina ako. Ako eh, talagang, I'm sorry, I'm not very proud of it. That is the reason why I was not announcing it to the public. Not so that I, was to cl I wasn't claiming to be perfect, pero ayoko nang makasakit ng ibang tao pa. Maraming masasaktan eh, kung magiging gara pala ko eh. Mm -hmm. Hindi ba? That's the reason why I kept it. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not perfect. Uh, mali po talaga ang I fell in love with a married man. Pero ito na po yun eh. Now, ito na yun eh. um, I have to ask you this because Gretchen also posted yes. and insinuated that your sister Claudine, yes. sinabi niya na magsasampa siya yes. ng molestation yes. case laban yes. kay Echeverry. That's yes. the assumption in that whole context. Yes, you know, no? um, ano ba nangyari doon? Yes, Karen, you know, it was a... Uh, this is not new to me. Kasi si Gretchen, tuwing gusto niyang mang-torture sa pamilya, she sends people texts. Yung mga pamilya ko, mga sister-in-law ko, may... she sends texts. Noong March pa lang, nagtatrete na siya niyan na you molested Claudine, si Recom nga daw, you, pati mga anak ko na molest siya na. But you know, Karen, that's Gretchen's favorite word. She said my father molested her when she was young. Um, then and now she's saying that even my children who are perfectly okay in their lives in good, ano naman, sasabihin niya na molest siya. That's their favorite word. Eh. Ano nila yan? Hugot nila. Mm -hmm. I don't know what fantasy that is. Sometime before March, Claudine asked financial help from Recom. Okay, I was against it because we were really not in good terms with Claudine. I said delicado. Delicado to, to associate with, with her. She's unstable. She's unstable. I will not say more. Okay? But he said, pag hindi naman natin tinulungan, baka sa iba humingi ng tulong at mapahamak. So, with a heavy heart, I let him. So, tinulungan niya si Claudine. To our surprise, we never thought it was a setup and it was intended to hurt me, harm me, and destroy his person when all along, all he really wanted to do was to help her. After that, hindi ko na alam. Maybe... I think Mayor Echeverry is perfectly capable, he is a lawyer also, to answer that. Yes. Gretchen said that kaya inatake sa puso ang oh, iyo. I am sorry thank for you, this thank question. You. Dahil kasalanan mo, hindi mo, kasalanan? hindi mo in-invite ang nanay ninyo sa birth name. Okay, so, uh, I'll make this quick. I don't want to run out of time. Yeah. Um, it goes to show that Gretchen does not care about the family at all. My father died of acute respiratory failure. He did not have a heart attack. The day that I gave him a birthday lunch in his house, that was the day we rushed him to the hospital because of violent chills. Chills. Hindi po heart attack, Gretchen. Dapat alam rin ni Claudine to, but obviously hindi. So, uh, violent chills, yun pala may sepsis na yung father ko. Mm -hmm. uh, severe pneumonia, uh, high fever and all of that. So mm. he did not die of an attack. Cla ano, si, to, si Gretchen stopped diverting. My mom is always invited. Why wouldn't she be invited? She is my mother and she is the wife of my father and we are in good terms. If I did not want my mother in the birthday celebration of my father, mm. I wouldn't have done it in my house. No. My dad claimed to us that my mom was ill that day. That's why she was not able to join us, which is not Unusual. There are birthdays that she really doesn't go because she's ill. Mm -mm. My mom's 82 years old. Now, when we talk about her painting me as a bad daughter, I will put my foot down. I am a good daughter. 
I am present every Sunday, every family event. I throw their parties. I serve them. I visit my family. Okay? Speaking of not inviting your mother to your house, Gretchen, for more than 25 years, has never invited my parents to her house. Any of her mansions and rest houses, not even to their garage. Okay. Okay, so don't paint me as the bad daughter. Don't mm -hmm. paint me as the bad daughter, Gretchen. Pasensya ka na, kailangan ko to tanungin. Um, essentially, questioning your character as a mother, na di yes. umano nilalaku mo yes, yes. ang iyong mga yes, anak yes, sa mga yes. business okay, tycoon. Okay, so, Karen, I would like to address this to everybody. My children are not for sale. I don't even have very much wealthy friends to sell my children to. My children work very, very hard. My youngest daughter is a good student in college in Ateneo. Matitinu po mga anak ko. I understand where this is coming from. Maybe they think the mother's a mistress. And they, maybe they think she's a mistress for money. But that's not the truth, Karen. I'm not a mistress for money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they, kaya, libre-libre sila, babuhin yung mga anak ko, oh, if the mom is like this, then all the daughters are, are like this, but no. Mm -hmm. I'm making this announcement, my children are not for sale. Hindi ka na ba napapagod, no, Marjorie? Wait. I mean, is, is forgiveness a possibility, reconciliation? Karen, I have to make this clear. What, what Gretchen is doing to me is not only me. She does this to all her friends. All my friends, family, parents, everything. This evilness has to stop. It has to stop. It has to stop. Ako gusto ko ibalik yung tanong kay Gretchen. Kailan ka ba mapapagod? When will you start healing so you can stop hurting everybody? I pray for healing. I sincerely pray for healing. Karen, ko pumunta siya sa ospital ng tatay ko habang buhay, Walang presidente, walang camera, walang lahat. Akong unang yayakap sa kanya. I would have hugged her. I would have led her to my father. And I swear that on my children's lives. I am for reconciliation. Just not an orchestrated one. All right, Marjorie. I'd have to say, maraming salamat sa gabing ito. Alam ko kulang ang oras sa yung marami ka pang gusto sabihin. Atong wag mo kong na, you know. I'm st everybody warned me that he could get back at me. So I came out on TV and saying, Nasana, uh, since I named you already, wag mo kong saktan. <sighs> Nakausap po ng ABS-CBN News si Atong Ang, pero tumagi muna siyang magkomento. Nasa Amerika naman naman si Gretchen Barreto. Pero sa pinadalang statement ni Gretchen, Dati naman niyang nasagot ang mga legasyon ni Marjorie at si Atong ang mismong sasagot sa mga akusasyon ni Marjorie. Mag-a-upload uh, din daw si Gretchen ng mga video. <laughs>